Welcome. We are getting ready to go on a camping trip today. We're going up to Vermont and do a little winter camping, off-season campground kind of deal. Uh, car's pretty much packed. The backpack, all our gear in there. This is going to be kind of like a micro backpacking trip. Like the parks, like the state park's not open, but you can camp there off-season, so you have to park at the gate. We'll probably have to snowshoe in, so we got snowshoes in the back there too. But first things first is we need to get coffee and breakfast. sandwich, cold brew, yeah that'll do. in to uh, the state park here. The road's plowed, but it's <laughs> very bumpy. It rained uh, last night, so a lot of the snow started melting up, and uh, the road's kind of muddy, and just washburn horn in some parts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a little muddy, too, so when it's not washboards it's sliding so it's an interesting uh, approach I think mud season is starting uh, a little early right now but we'll see how far we can get in with this uh, when I made the uh, the reservation, if you will. They said uh, you can go in as far as it's plowed. So we'll see how far we get. Probably gonna want the snowshoes looking at how deep the snow is up here. Alright, let's see. We may be able to just drive right in. I don't know. I guess we'll find out real soon. Oh uh, no, no, no. We're gonna have to park here. That's fine. Let's, uh, let's just take a look around. Alright. We're going to go take a walk down and see what the, uh, what the site looks like. Short walk this time, not, not the mile or so that I thought it would going to be. Got the snowshoes on. Just deep enough that uh, sinking through would kind of suck. Alright, I think we've made it. We got one lean to here, one lean to here. I'll do a little work cleaning off the uh, pickle tables. But man, that view does not disappoint. Now I gotta start digging. 
I'll clear that off. All right, camp's looking okay, but we're missing the camp part of it. <laughs> I need to get my uh, my backpack with all my gear in it. Um, so we're going to go back. grab all my gear. We have a little space cleared out here. Should be good. All right, we ditched the snowshoes. I ended up hurting my hips kind of too much. We walked all the way back to the car. Grab the backpack, bag of crap here too. <laughs> Probably more than I really need, but I'm not really a backpacker. <laughs> Still gotta get wood too, so there'll be another trip. All right, it's my turn to be the uh, sled dog here. <laughs> get the uh, Polk sled loaded up here. Honestly, it's not a bad way to haul stuff into the woods and there's this much snow it's it, you really don't notice it I mean you know it's there but it's not like it's not like a heavy backpack on Improvise of a log there. That should work. I'll move around a little bit. I don't think I'm getting in and out of this thing too often. All right. Next, we got to put the uh, uh, sleeping pad in. Easier than having an inflator. Get the sleeping bag nice and lofted. And last but not least is the A little camp pedal. There we go.
Oh, I got friendly fire. Good job. Mike the master fire starter. Okay. Give the grand tour of camp here. My tent, sleeping bag, mattress, all my crap in there. <laughs> little kitchen table area right here. Nothing much but little stove, little lantern. Oatmeal. Big old pile of wood. Got a fire going. Chairs. Setting up some string lights. Hi, I'm Fred. Fred's setting up string lights. What a view. I don't know what they did over here, but they suspended a tent from a tree. Hammock camping. Pretty cool setup. Dinner, we got Santa Fe style rice and beans with chicken.
Well, the snow started coming in, and it's time to head out. Yep. The sled is packed. Mean two's cleared out. Fire's dying. It's time to head out. All right, we're hiking out. Got the sled going. I'm picking up whatever falls off the sled. Snow's starting to pick up a little more too, so it's probably a good idea that we're heading out today. Well, we are on the way home now, and uh, it was about as good of a, of a camp as we could have asked for at the time of year. Uh, temperatures were pretty good, uh, you know, 30s. A uh, little snow flurry overnight, and then leaving we had some snow showers, but nothing, um, nothing that I would complain about by any means. Uh, the only complaint that I did have was uh, going in the first trip from the car into the campsite, I kind of hurt my hip snowshoeing in, uh, mainly probably because I didn't really know what I'm doing with snowshoes, and probably just tweaked something, but other than that, it's a great trip, thanks for coming along, hope to see you on the next one.